Keywording is one of the most important, but also one of the most time-consuming aspects of uploading. Getty Images is constantly working on improving this process and has recently come up with an excellent tool to assist the contributor with coming up with accurate and complete set of keywords for their imagery. The latest version of DeepMeta, version 3.8, fully supports this new keywording suggestion feature. Let's have a look. We start up DeepMeta, and for this demo, we'll create a new batch called Keyword Demo. We'll add a few files. Now, the way you typically work in DeepMeta is that you select one of the files in the batch, and you fully keyword it, add the title and other information. And once done, once you're happy with the result, you use the copy paste tool of DeepMeta to move the information to the other files of the batch. And then you can do some further fine tuning. So we'll do this for one of the files here. You can see at the right hand side that a number of keywords are already present. This means that DeepMeta was able to import these from the IPTC metadata that was present in the JPEG file. We'll clear it now for this demo because we just want to start from scratch. I'll paste in some keywords. DeepMeta is now contacting the Getty server to do the controlled vocabulary lookup of the keywords and the words beach, girls and playing were immediately recognized as being part of the controlled vocabulary. A number of other keywords need some further refining. So we'll do that now. In this case, child, sister, leisure activity would be valid keywords. So the rest does not really apply that much. So we'll just clear the rest. Now we could stop right here and um, just upload the image the way it is now, just adding a description. However, we can do better. First of all, we look at the title and we make sure that the title is relevant. The title is very important for having your file being found on Google search. But it's also being used for the new keyword suggestion feature. You can see at the top right here, we have a new light bulb symbol, suggest keywords. Now, when we click it, what happens is that if the keyword input field is empty, then the title will be sent to the Getty service with a request to get some keyword suggestions. You can see that this process is now going on. And you can see that we get quite a few suggestions that go beyond what we already had as keywords. And when you look at it, there's a few really good keywords that you definitely can consider to be part of your file. In our case, for instance, uh, sand, yeah, is something that I actually forgot to add. So it makes a lot of sense. Jumping would not really apply here. Motion, fun, fun is definitely applicable. Summer, happiness. Enjoyment, I guess, yeah, definitely. And I guess that would be about it. You can just delete the keyword suggestions once you're done with it. And now you see that we have a much richer set of keywords. I suppose I could have selected a few more, which improve the chance of my image to be found in the search of iStock Photo. Now, how does this work? What happens behind the scene is that the phrase girls jumping in the sand, and I'm going to copy this sentence here, is actually being sent to 
to the Getty server. And behind the scenes, there's a search taking place on the iStock photo site or the Getty images site with exactly that phrase. So I'll paste it in here. And you see that we get a number of best match results. Now, I'm going to open the first three hits in separate tabs. This was the first hit. And we'll look at the keywords here at the back for that file. Now, if we go back to the meta, and we request the keyboard suggestions again. So what this does behind the scene is in fact something that's similar to a search on the iStock photo site with, those, uh, with exactly that phrase. And the top results are being used or the keywords of the top results are being processed and the keywords that are part of the top results and that occur the most uh, often are being offered as keyword suggestions. In a nutshell, that's how it works. It's um, um, Getty is uh, constantly working on improving this process and the way that I'm explaining it now is probably not exactly how it works, but that's more or less the gist of what happens. And when you think of it, that's definitely a very good way of keywording your images because you have to think of a phrase or a number of words that you would be using yourself to find this particular image in the search. And then other contributors have done similar things and have come up with additional keywords. So it's sort of a crowdsourcing way of coming up with additional keywords. Now, what's important to understand about this feature is that if you make your title overly complex or overly specific, and this is not necessarily a problem with a title, because I could be changing this title, for instance, and say, okay, girls playing in sand at empty beach at summer March, uh, summer early March, for instance. Okay, so this would be a very specific title. Now, if I request keyword suggestions for this, you will see no suggestions found. This may seem odd because you've actually provided more information. But of course, if you think of the backend process that takes place, just like I explained, it's essentially a search at the iStock site with this specific phrase. We'll paste it right in. You will see if, if a customer would be searching for such a very specific phrase at the iStock site, they would get exactly the same results. No, re no returns, no results. And this is why you get no suggestions here as well. Now to, to decouple the information, because I'm not trying to suggest that you should use very simple and short titles for your files. There may be a reason to have a rather elaborate title for your file. And for this reason, what's been added as an additional capability is that if you type a number of words in the keyword input box, uh, let's say, and those would have to be the key keywords for your file. Girls play, we can have commas or not, it doesn't really matter, play beach, something like this. And then you request keyword suggestions. If you have specific words in the keyword input box, then it will use those words specifically. And you can just leave your title the way it is. There's no need to constantly re-edit your title just to get different suggestions. You, you can just type a number of important keywords for your file in here, request the suggestions, and then you'll get very, very good ideas for additional keywords. The best thing is to just have maybe three to five keywords here, and those would have to be the essential, 
the important keywords that you have. If you work this way, you will find that the keyword suggestion is in fact a bit of a door that allows you to look into the controlled vocabulary and that allows you to see what other valid terms are available in the vocabulary that might make a lot of sense for your images. That's it for this new feature. It's, um, you might call it a little bit experimental and I'm sure that the interface will be changing over time based on your feedback. So don't hesitate to chime in at the forum or just contact, uh, use the contact uh, form information at the Deep Meta site to give us your feedback. What do you think of the feature? How could it possibly improve, etc. I'd also like to thank Getty Images for continuously improving the capabilities of the server functionality and for providing this uh, great new addition to contributor tools. Thank you.